Um, I think just the general atmosphere of it's quite nice because like because I think it's a good village because it's quite quiet. Well, quiet. it's quite it's quiet sometimes. Sometimes there's like the idiot kids around here, but that's about it. Mm -hmm. They do like try and cause havoc, like playing football around the back there mm -hmm. by cars. Mm -hmm. But that's really. But that's it. because we've got no, nowhere to really kick about footballs. But people that like don't like the kids, and then like you got. Like the old people that like like speaking to you, and then and then like you got the old shop, and then like just generally a good atmosphere. It's quiet. I'm gonna say that it is quite sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's only like on sunny days where they're like playing football like in the back of the square. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. really bad. Mm -hmm. Parks, um, people, okay. um, the nature. Nothing, like, nothing to do around here. It's just like the woods that people play in, well, that's fair, Really, there's no parks or anything, which we need. Mm -hmm. And there's like a little bit of forest area, like down up by the bungalows. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's just like there, doing nothing. So if they cut that down, we could turn it into a park. It's pretty good, to be honest. Quite, quite a lot of things to do. Little. Expand. It's never a boring moment. What, yeah? You've got the community centre, you've got, got the youth club, you've got the community centre is exactly the same night. And there's youth club on Thursday. How long have you been living here? Too long, 15 years. It was good because like, I, I was new to the place, like because I, I never used to go out. And like, there's loads of new places to go, but then it got boring because I've been everywhere around Lissington now. I think the best part of Lissington is the rugby club. Why? Because <laughs> it's nice, yeah. Probably like the pools, it's a nice place. We just sit on the benches and stuff and talk. And when it's icy, um, like we kind of like slide about on the ice. I know, it, you probably don't advise that, but like. It's doing yeah, nothing um, else to do. And it only happens like once a year or something. Yeah, it's like the nearest place we got to go to is Ashma Park. But you don't like it there, it's rough and there's like a lot of gypsies there. They feel like we're all stupid and we like don't learn and all that. And they think we just like all we do is just doss about and all that and we don't care. But we've got nothing to do. It leaves us on the streets and all that and people mind us for being on the street and all that. And then like we all see people like, drinking and then they'll say, Oh, I'll go and get some booze or something. Cousin trouble. <laughs> we do not cause trouble. Uh, drinking! Don't know, from what year? Like people, they start hanging around with the older kids and the older kids hang around with the older kids that get booze. And so like, the booze just gets passed down and all that. Where do you normally hang out about around Islington? On the streets with like my, like, with, like my mates and my crew and like we just dosh about and get yeah, like people, like having a go, but like, when you add them up wrong, so like that gets people annoyed. So normally we would just end up going like we'd hang out by the school or something or by the spa or over the pools because once the pools closes everything goes on there. There's some parts where the year here where there's been some stuff going on but like in other places and it's really good but we like to go on our scooters but we've got nowhere to go and people mind us and all that. They think we've got a bad reputation because if the, if someone sees us talking to the police or something, because the police people always stop and have a chat with us, they think we do it. They always think we're doing something wrong if they see us with them. There's some nasty people in the street that don't really like you, and like they phone the police on you or something for doing nothing, something that you probably haven't done, and just different stuff like that. So. If you're 
you come out more often, do you think you'll be doing stuff like Nocador and, and anti-social behaviour? Um, no. I would say so, because like, I've um, been brought up not to do that sort of stuff. And so, if what would you do if you didn't have a scooter or a bike? I don't know. I think, like, I think we'd tell some of the kids that are, like, part of the youth forum and all that stuff. And, like, ask if there could be, like, a park or something. I don't know, really. I like to, I like to live where I am, but then again, I don't. Because the houses will be too old. Would you live in Islington in the future? Um, yeah, I probably would. Because, like, I want my kids to have as much, like, enjoyment and adventures that I've had, like, down as you can. I'd like to work because I want to work with children when I get older. And I wanted to work at St John's, which was my old primary school. And I wanted to work there, so I, I wouldn't really like to move out of this area. I do. I, um, I have been to Chesnay and Featherstone, but like, Essington's more or less my hometown, so like, I kind of like stay around here.